Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about EOS Dead. So if you watch my previous video, you probably get the airdrop by now. It is automatically airdropped to your my Ether wallet. So check your wallet. Uh, check it out. Currently, um, EOS uh, Dead is trading in buy box. Uh, right now it's eighteen cents in buy box for Delta, IDEX. And exchange uh, that support the EOS that airdrop is Bitfarm, Upbit, Hubi, and Gay.io. So just the list go on and on. So just check it out. So today actually I want to talk about EOS that. So it's the community uh, own block producer on EOS platform. So when EOS mainnet launched in June, you can vote for the block producer. But if you vote, uh, your token will be locked for three days so uh, this is i think the model is similar to list uh, you use one list to fold 30 delegate and depending on which delegate you fold they sometimes they give you they share the profit with you they do some payout so they sometimes do pay out maybe every uh, one month or every three months or six months so depending on which delegate you fold you got some um, payout from the um, Delegate. So I assume this uh, block producer is very similar. They will share some profit with you and they will do some payout periodically. So there's a very uh, interesting article say what's a, pro what's a block producer, why you should care. So EOS is a delegate pool of work system, right? So block producer will replace the concept of miners as the custodial of the network. So essentially, block producer improve the EOS network or also ensure the block uh, production efficiency. So here they talk about um, block producer is a group of individuals uh, facilitate uh, the EOS network and is continuing growth. Once the network is live, EOS token holder will be able to cast their votes for the block producer. So, but who will be the uh, block producer? So they have top 21, uh, 121 um, candidate will be ranked by the number of votes uh, they receive. There will be two distinct groups. The top 21 will be uh, the block producer. They actually create new blocks. And the next 100 will be known as standby producer. So they have to wait to receive enough votes to make it to the top 21. They will also be popping up the community through their status as a full node, also making the network more secure and decentralized uh, as well. But to be able to be a, become a block producer, they, uh, of course they need a computation power and throughput capacity to jump in at a moment of notice. So this is basically just in case one of the top producers, their network is down, so the uh, standby producer can jump in right away. <clears throat> So there's a, uh, we have to understand the different consensus model. For example, Bitcoin is a proof of work, so everybody know. So the simple explanation is that a computer completes to be the first one to solve a mathematical problem. So that's why the ASIC mining equipment is getting more and more expensive with more. And Ethereum uh, consensus model is trying to move towards proof of stake, which allow token holder to stake their um, Ethereum for a chance to become the next block miner. The selected miner will be chosen randomly in proportion to their amount staked to the total amount staked by the community. So in EOS, uh, however, they have a delegate proof of stake uh, added to the asynchronized Byzantine fault torrents. That means uh, we will be running on the uh, proof of stake model that Ethereum is working towards, but instead of allowing everyone to be selected at random, the community will have to vote who is able to be who is to be a block producer. So a slight difference uh, to note is that in EOS, a block producer doesn't uh, stake uh, EOS uh, token, but is rather staking their investment in infrastructure and team members, their reputation, as well as their future block reward reward earnings. So I think the block reward earnings is uh, probably if you. Um, Folds for one of the block producer, they probably will share some payout with you, just like this. And also, um, a synchronized Byzantine, uh, Byzantine fault torrents in simple terms is basically the algorithm where the block producer can um, sign each block being created. 
So once 15 of the 21 block producers have signed and none of the signature include a previously used a timestamp or block height, that block will be deemed irreversible. So that's the, how, uh, how they confirm the, uh, the uh, rec record on the blockchain. And the incentive. So the block producer will be rewarded through an inflationary system. So just like Ethereum, I think they have a 3% uh, inflation every year. So they take into con Ethereum, they take into consideration that some coin uh, loss or whatever, so, do, so they will create um, additional Ethereum every year, so they have an inflation. But Bitcoin, they don't have any inflation. So it's 21 million, it's 21 million. That's it. <clears throat> so uh, as new blocks are created, new EOS token will be minted and distributed. So they have inflationary uh, system. So the amount of inflation allocated uh, to work the block producer is unknown. As it will be constantly updated as the list of the, uh, as the, list of the top 21 block producer changes. So each block producer will set their bid for the inflation, and then at each, each round of folding, the median bid will be calculated. The results uh, that will determine the rate of inflation that go towards the block producer. So there's also another proposal from um, block dot one to implement both a floor and ceiling amount so that we can ensure that uh, 121 of the block producer on the list receive enough funds to operate. The inflation will cover uh, the block producer to fund the operation, infrastructure, expansion, and network growth. Also provide services and tools for the community to utilize. Uh, Debs is also one of them they are going to provide as well, uh, as far as I uh, read uh, so far. And also, in that, therefore, this will encourage the community to keep voting for them. This inflation will be spread out between 121 block producers with a skewer towards the top 21 who will receive the bulk of the payout. Wow. Anyway. So uh, on June 1st, the distribution of the EOS token will be closed. Um, and then the EOS mainnet will be launched uh, through a group of 22 randomly selected um, block producer. And then because they already show interest uh, as the, uh, that they want to be a block producer, and with a single one being randomly selected as the boot node. For the first few rounds of block creation, there will be no reward. So during this time, EOS token will be distributed on the EOS uh, blockchain, and then the and then the constitution will cover the network will be ratified. Then once the boot uh, BIOS uh, BIOS boot sequence is finalized by the root uh, root uh, block producer, then the other twenty one will confirm the network, and then the network will be officially uh, launched and open. And So since the, uh, the 22 block producers were uh, randomly uh, you know, appointed, uh, at, the, in, at least in the initial, then the first round of voting will now have to take place to elect the 121 block producer and then the uh, standby producer as well. From there, they will keep the network running and secure. Okay, this is, um, so you can stick your, you can put your fold, you can fold uh, the uh, 121 block producer and in which, in which 21 is the top producer. Um, yeah, 21 is a block producer and then the rest is just a standby producer. So in EOS, a new block will be created every 500 milli, uh, milliseconds. So to ensure there's no latency or delay in uh, propagation uh, of the block uh, throughout the network, geographic distribution is also uh, important. So global diverse diversity is also important for the uh, network as well. So that's why uh, they have EOS Italy, EOS Canada, uh, EOS uh, Dublin, EOS Asia, EOS Amsterdam. So if they uh, that will be um, help the network as well. So um, do you think this consensus model is centralized with only 21 block producer? And please comment below what you think about this project. And this will be interesting to see what's, uh, as it play out. I know there's so much hype right now for the EOS right now uh, with the upcoming launch in June. So be sure, be sure you do a token, uh, sign up for the token swap. Otherwise your token will be worthless. 
So comment below what do you think about this consensus model? Do you think it's, uh, it's centralized or decentralized with uh, 21 block producer? If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share with your friends. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing ICO uh, has inherited me. Uh, be sure to subscribe because uh, I, I, uh, you can stay up to date with the ICO, airdrop, and half fault. And Monero half fault is coming up uh, actually tonight. I think to, uh, yeah, tonight. So I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO has inherent risk. Please use, the, use your due diligence. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe. Peace.